So actually it's a lot more uh, economically viable to look for smaller turbines on the rooftops of buildings as opposed to the larger uh, turbine generators you see uh, dotting the landscape. So David, how is wind energy becoming more accessible to urban areas? Well, I think now that, that uh, people are accepting the fact that a house or a building can generate electricity, you're seeing the urban uh, functions of let's create our own sustainable energy source from the building that we occupy, whether it's the workplace or the residence. And we're moving to a point, I think, perhaps within the next 20 years, where every building will be self-sustaining when it comes to energy uh, pr uh, pr production. So how are these devices more profitable than the traditional wind farm? Well, the wind farms that you see out in the fields and on the landscape generally or out in the ocean are actually quite inefficient. Uh, they have to be very large to capture enough wind to make them worthwhile or less economically uh, 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 viable. And uh, the smaller wind turbines you can place on the roof of your house picks up this accelerated wind speed over the roof of a, particularly a pitched, pitched roof of a house. So you get a lot more energy from a small turbine on the roof of a house uh, for its size and cost versus the large propellers that you see out in the country landscape. So actually it's a lot more uh, economically viable to look for smaller turbines on the rooftops of buildings as opposed to the larger uh, turbine generators you see uh, dotting the landscape. So how could businesses use these small turbines to go into clean energy? Well, you only have to fly over, over a city and see all that, that roof space, that surface area, which in the past was, was totally wasted space. Now, of course, we've moved into the solar age where solar panels now adorn most rooftops. But uh, solar compared to wind is still about three times the cost per unit of energy created. So I think you'll see more and more, you get small wind turbines that are unobtrusive and silent sitting on rooftops generating electricity for particular, those particular buildings. Maybe not replacing all of the energy use that a building uh, requires, but certainly powering lights and part of the air conditioning and other functionality required from the building. So what kind of benefits can private owners and businesses get from using this device? Well, a, a number of issues come to mind. Uh, as uh, economic activity picks up again p after the recession of the last few years, you're starting to get uh, evidence more of, of brownouts or uh, even power cuts in some of the major cities. And I certainly see that in, in North America and uh, parts, of, uh, parts of Asia now, uh, particularly like India. So uh, to take yourself independent from the grid, to some extent, gives you that backup. There's nothing worse than being in the summer told you have to do your washing at three o'clock in the morning because the uh, local energy provider is trying to even out its power demand curve. So first of all, independence from the grid uh, gives you that flexibility should there be storms or hurricanes as you'll see in hurricane season in, in, in the East Coast USA. But secondarily, again, you can turn the rooftop of your house into an energy producer which means if you create surplus energy, you can actually sell that back into the grid and uh, reduce your electricity bill. So there's an economic reason for turning your building into an energy producer as much as that uh, uh, independency that, that comes into, uh, into call when there's a, an ice storm or a hurricane. So the final question I have is how affordable is wind energy today? Uh, well, it's becoming uh, much more affordable than one might see, say, five years ago. Uh, we're now starting to see, like ourselves, small wind turbines are being uh, delivered now to uh, the housetop and uh, rooftop of, of office blocks and even factories. Now, solar, when it first came out in the early 70s, was quite expensive, and that cost came down by over 99% over 40 years. We don't quite see the same reduction in cost of wind because electric, electric electricity components already quite uh, quite efficient other than the batteries but we would see right now that wind is already uh, per kilowatt hour of production uh, about a third of the price of solar and we expect it to be even cheaper in the future so it's very affordable right now and quite economic so thank you david for coming into our studio today You're welcome and thank you for watching we want to know if you use wind energy so give us a comment in the box below goodbye for now